Hey, and welcome to TV Show Recap and Makeup Tuesday. I'm Rachel Lee, and every Tuesday and Thursday, I'm here talking about a new popular TV show while doing my makeup. So if you love watching TV shows and if you love makeup, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Today, I am talking about Netflix series Ginny and Georgia, which is number one right now on Netflix. I'm talking about season one, episode one, The Pilot. Uh, and I'm just going to say before I start that this was not one of my favorite shows, um, and I'm hoping that maybe it picks up later. So let's get started. So episode one starts with Ginny, our main character, and she is in school, and then she's narrating saying that her mom had her at 15 years old, which is the age she is now. And then we see her get pulled from class and they pull her out into the hallway and tell her that her stepdad has been in an accident and that he didn't make it and he died. So at her stepdad's funeral, Georgia, who is Ginny's mom and our other main character, she plays it up and is crying and saying how good of a person her stepdad Kenny was and that he was so kind. And his ex-wife is there though. And she's like talking about her and saying they're getting everything, basically saying she's a gold digger. She was only with him for the money. They moved to Massachusetts then for a fresh start. And when they arrive at the house, we all get a flashback of this girl and they call her Mary in this flashback. And she's getting beaten by a man and she's running outside. And then we see her at a truck stop a woman there asks her what her name is and she tells the woman her name is Georgia. So throughout this episode we're gonna see Austin, Ginny's brother and Georgia's son dealing with bullying, Georgia dealing with moms of the school, and then we're gonna see flashbacks of Georgia with a man I believe is Ginny's dad. In this episode we see Ginny in class and her, she's in AP English and her teacher is introducing her to everyone and he's talking over her and not letting her talk and say, you know, her name is Ginny and then she gets really fired up. She basically says all that he's teaching in his class is racism and sexism. There's only one black author out of all 16 of the books. All of, almost all of them are also written by males and she's calling him out on his racism and sexism in his class and he is not very happy about it but some of the other students seem to enjoy it and she makes friends really quickly. So after school we see Ginny hang out with her new friend Max. Max has a twin brother that Ginny seems to be very attracted to and he comes in like he's gonna kiss her but he doesn't. He's just grabbing his bag of weed that is hiding under where she's sitting I guess. So he's outside with his motorcycle that he can't drive yet because he's not 16. When Ginny goes to leave she makes a comment about that and then she drives off on his motorcycle or to kind of go like around the block. He said that wasn't cool. She kisses him which is really unexpected because she said she's never kissed anyone or been in a relationship before. But then after Ginny kisses him we see he gets picked up by some other girl and just says that she is that Ginny is one of his sister Max's friends. So the next day Ginny goes out with this boy Hunter that Max thinks is a good match for Ginny. He's like the popular boy and the entire date is like really awkward. So when Hunter goes to drop off Ginny, Georgia is there smoking with Max and her brother's mom, smoking weed up on like the little balcony and they're watching Hunter and Ginny the whole time and then they make fun of them because he goes in and gives her a hug instead of a kiss. Georgia and her friend the neighbor go to the meeting and they bring Joe from like the coffee shop and lunch place, the little hidden gem, and they appease everyone about the whole organic situation and getting a good deal for it. And she does this kind of by blackmailing him just so she can impress the mayor and get a job with him because she needs the job. Later that evening, Max's brother comes through Ginny's window and then they kiss and Ginny takes off her shirt 
which is a little odd because she's never even kissed anyone, let alone other than him that earlier. And now she's kissing him and taking her shirt off. And they end up like having sex and it's really awkward for her because, you know, it was her first time. And afterwards he's just like, all right, let's keep this on the DL. I don't want Padma to know. So they agree to not tell anyone. So then we see flashback of Ginny and Georgia. And this is when they are with Kenny, just starting out as a new family. And they're like kind of trying to do some yoga. And then Georgia goes and do dinner for Kenny. And he comes in with Georgia and he's trying to help her with her yoga poses. But then we see him get like really handsy with her. And she's like, okay, stop Kenny. And he's not stopping. And then we see Georgia come in and he stops and he hears her. So that got really weird. So then we see another flashback, Kenny and Georgia. And this time Kenny's getting ready to leave. So Georgia gives Kenny this smoothie that she made herself for him to take with him when he leaves in this flashback. We see him drinking it and then driving. All of a sudden we see him having a heart attack after drinking that smoothie. And then he gets into the car crash and dies. So that shows us what happened to Kenny. All while that's happening with the flashback and Kenny, we see Ginny is narrating and talking about having the power. We also see Ginny at school talking about that while she's watching Max's brother and Padme kissing. So the episode ends then with Ginny watching them kissing and she goes up talking about having the power and says, hey, Padme, right? And she's like, I got something to tell you. He's like, no, 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 don't making faces like don't do it, don't do it. And she's like, you have something on your shirt, you know, making it clear she's got the power to tell her if she wants to. And then she says now she's starting to understand why her mom is the way she is. And she's never felt or understood that until now. I am going to go put on some lashes, mascara, and do my lips really quick and I will be right back. Okay, so now that I have my mascara, eyelashes, and lips done, let's talk about this first episode. So I wasn't going to do this show because even though it's the most popular show on Netflix right now, I didn't think I was going to like it, and I was right. Um, I did not enjoy this first episode. The show was, to me, a little predictable, and it was not one of my favorites. It wasn't a bad show, it just wasn't a show that I would watch normally myself. It seems to be a very popular show though because it has some very relevant things happening in it which is great. It's just not something that I enjoyed. I'm hoping that with the next episode maybe it'll pick up and I will enjoy it a little more. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this first episode. Tell me, did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you just think it was okay like I did? Did you also think it was predictable? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget if you love TV shows and makeup to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.